country. It's Minnesota United taking on FC Dallas. Minnesota bouncing back with a win after a difficult loss in Los Angeles on the on on the I guess the midweek before uh, FC Dallas had a nightmare in their back-to-back games against the Galaxy and LAFC being completely dominated and outplayed to two losses in those two games. Minus 123 for a Minnesota win, plus 309 for FC Dallas who find themselves in 12th place in the conference. L- let's just get this out of the way because we don't really know who's going to play for Minnesota because no team is more affected by the international break uh, break than Minnesota United. So get this. Kervin Arriaga is away with Honduras. Alejandro Brown is with Costa Rica. Carlos Harvey with Panama. Robin Lode and Timo Puki are off with Finland. Uh, Tani Oluwache, who's been in great form, has just been called up by Canada, as has their goalkeeper, Dane Sinclair. Uh, Rosales is suspended. I believe he's away with Honduras anyways. And Zarek Valentin is with Puerto Rico as well. I mean, this is what makes betting these windows where there's MLS games or an international window so tricky. Um, despite that, we do have some plays. Well, Bob and I have plays in this game. Bob, do you want to take it away? Where you, When you see how many players Minnesota's missing... I mean, yeah, that how do you approach plays this into it? And while there are defensive players, very important defensive players missing, it's really the offense that I'm looking for here. Ariaga, Harvey, Ludd, Alusei, Puki, St. Clair, I guess, too. But when we talk about those five attacking players, they account for 18 of the 27 goals scored by Minnesota United so far this season. Not good. Not great. And they're playing against FC Dallas, who has had a underperforming offense to say the very, very least. And their defense has actually been pretty consistent. Um, Dallas, they have the worst MLS away record, zero wins, two draws and six losses. And they've scored just six road goals in eight matches, conceding just 14. So they're only seeing 20 goals in their six road matches this season. I am picking both teams to score. No at plus plus one twenty. And usually when I see both teams to score, no, I think of like two things that need to happen, right? Like an offensive failure and a defensive performance. But what I'm seeing, the way I'm seeing this one is like, you have two possibilities. Minnesota could not score. Dallas could not score. Either one of those happen. You get plus 120. So I'm kind of seeing this a little backwards on how I saw the odds in this one. And I think both teams have an equal chance to uh, put up a stinker in this one. I would, you know, look at unders and all that kind of stuff. Both teams to score no plus 120, and I I could be divorced from the outcome. Okay. Um, Makes sense. I am marrying myself to the outcome here, and you cannot justify it by by any statistical metric, but you can based upon who's missing. The question was, is that Dane Sinclair to Canada? Yes. He's competing with Max Crapeau, who may start the game against Netherlands and France, two big games for Canada, this upcoming window, like load in the midfield, their best midfield player, a lot of players in attack. They're starting right back. I mean, this is problematic for Eric Ramsey. He's done a great job. Um, Do I fully trust FC Dallas? No, but I do think there are some positives over the course of those two games in LA. One, Musa and Ferreira both start in the last game. Keeping Ferreira and the team is being difficult. They're better with those, both those two players playing. The fact that Ariola and Legette are both back fit, they've been back for three and four games respectively, that's so important to the attacking depth on this team and finding Dal- uh, balance in this Dallas side. Also, Tafari, the center back, was suspended for last weekend for FC Dallas. He will be back in the team. So a number of things are working in their direction. I don't think that any of us think that the FC Dallas team, this FC Dallas team, is this bad when they're fully fit. So if there's a week to get on track, it's against a team that's been absolutely bludgeoned by the international window in Minnesota United. So FC Dallas on the Asian ha- handicap, basically it's a double double chance. It's FC Dallas win or draw at minus 109. This number's come down as well. It started at a plus number. Minus 109 is still in a playable range for me. Winner or draw for FC Dallas, um, and it's a winning play. I love this Minnesota team at home. Their metrics away from home, not good, but I throw that out the window. I just, you can't rely on this team when they're missing so many key players. So it's an FC Dallas player, nothing for me in this game. Dan, anything to add? Yeah, that was just why it was the pure pass for me. If I was to bet this game, that's the exact same way that I would do it, Garrett, is, is, you know, take a 
not bad price. You're under the customary 110. You're getting the half goal. It, it protects you with a, a litany of different outcomes, at least, you know, two of them there. But you can't you can't lay money in this game with Minnesota United. Like, even if you like them, you would need to bet this game live. Like, see what it looks like when they bring these guys out on the pitch. You cannot come into this game pre-flop and feel like you have any sort of an edge on Minnesota. That's That's my two bits. I would definitely not be making them a minus price. So when yeah. I saw that, it seemed like the odds makers had just as much of a question mark around this game as I did, which is why it was the lone play on the short slate that uh, that I just didn't have anything in. But if I were to bet it, I, I would be on the same side as as you, Gareth. I think you're seeing it the exact same way that I would. All right, two plays. Bob's at plus money. Both teams to score. No, I actually generally love that bet, Bob. Uh, this could cash in this game as well. It's tough to tell what's that's what Minnesota United is going to do in this game. And Dallas, uh, a double chance, a winner or a draw at minus 109.